I'm Dr. Jumanti, and I'm an uh, emeritus urologist at, in the Department of Urology at U of M. I started rowing when I was in high school and college and then didn't do it for about 20 years and then started again in the early 90s. I love being out on the water and in particularly uh, in the mornings or evenings when it's calm and the sun is just coming up. It's really just great being out on the water so I, I love it just for that part of it but I also like competing and uh, racing and trying to get into good condition and it keeps me pretty fit. Probably 2011 or so, I started having more trouble that I'd noticed uh, in the middle of races when I was going very hard, I would uh, pretty abruptly start to get very tired and just totally run out of gas. But being a physician, I sort of blew it off and thought I wasn't in good enough shape. And it was probably uh, eight or nine months later when I finally got diagnosed when it uh, kept happening again. I found out that I was in intermittently in atrial fibrillation when I exercised hard. Ultimately I had an ablation done in about 2011 and it worked great and I was able to compete that year uh, but then after about a year uh, the AFib came back again when I exercised hard and it was really important to me uh, by, to keep uh, rowing and competing and uh, so I had it done again and it worked and um, so I've been able to get back at it. Uh, full-time and going as hard as I would like and this past year I won uh, the Henley Masters Regatta in England in July and then in August I won the US uh, Masters Nationals in my age group uh, as well. The care I got at U of M was great. The ablation was something that you don't want to go through unless you have to. I wouldn't have been able to get back and compete like this if it hadn't been for the being able to have the ablation. Otherwise, I would have been stuck on the sidelines.